Uh, hi friends, uh, in this video we will discuss about the corrosion uh, phenomenon using analysis fluid. So on the screen you can see, uh, so I am trying to model galvanic corrosion in which, uh, so this is a zinc nut and there is a copper bolt onto which again there is a zinc nut top that is present. So this is the nut and this part is the bolt. and which is surrounded by the water and I am taking axis symmetric condition uh, maybe I can, we can also have a 3D simulation if you want but I am considering axis symmetric condition here there is a, a anode presence in which zinc tries to lose its electrons and instead of copper taking it there is a water present the water near to that copper will try to take those electrons uh, and this will be the cathodic reaction that will happen at the surface of copper so this part will be prone to the cathodic reaction and this entire part and these surfaces prone to the anodic reactions. So now as the time progresses this thickness will try to reduce at the same time this side of the nut will also try to reduce due to the corrosion and this side of the nut will be reduced in the negative y direction and this side in the negative x and this side in the positive x so now if you can define so there are this is the positive x decrement and this surface is also positive x and this is negative x and these two are negative y. So in this tutorial I am also trying to model the grid motion I mean the deformation or the uh, movement of these surfaces due to corrosion right. So I will just uh, open the space claim window I have removed this uh, this part of the uh, nut and bolt because we are trying to only model the uh, anode and cathode reactions according to that I will try to move these lines or move these nodes uh, in order to replicate the simulation right so I will just show you the uh, surfaces so these two are the anode wall by where it tries to move in the y direction this is anode wall positive x these two this one and this one because it tries to move in positive x direction when the corrosion happens and this is anode wall negative x which tries to move in negative x direction and this is cathode wall y and cathode wall positive x but we need not bother because uh, we are not uh, trying to deform the cathode here because it is the water that takes electrons not the cathode okay uh, so now I will just try to go through the setup maybe I will just uh, for your convenience I will try to solve it from start I will try to reset it and So double precision because we are going for multi species start it so I have taken tetrahedral mesh because I want to use defined grid motion UDF So now it is a transient simulation, activate transient and you just go to models on the species, species transport, volumetric and I am trying to model electrochemical, apply, ok. Then you can just go to this viscous, you just activate laminar, ok. And then you can go to material stack and I will try to uh, create the materials for this first I will try to create uh, water liquid go to the database go to fluid scroll down water and then you want to have hydroxyl group also and hydrogen go to H so yeah you create to H here you can select hydrogen as well as hydroxyl
which minus copy close then you can open any of this and try to place with the jink and jink plus or jink two plus properties also so i'll just rename it as jink zn let's zn k c and some name zn a chemical formula then you need not bother because we are not modeling uh, the solid part we can leave it as such and you need not bother about this model the weight will be going to 30 i'll leave this default change create yes replace air next other one is uh, you can again go to the jink same old jink and try to make it as jink plus and this is jink p this has a charge of positive 2 so you can keep that change create no so now you will be getting jink jink plus water liquid hydroxyl and hydrogen for the reaction and now then go to the mixer template tab scroll up edit add all these things jink plus here into the tab when jink is a solid species add here hydroxyl is a uh, liquid species go to find it action the volumetric select water liquid this documentary portion 2 will turn into h2 plus voh minus this documentary portion 1 and this is an electrochemical reaction you can give the equivalent potential as 0 0.5 for water liquid and we have two reactions the other reaction is which has zinc turning into zinc plus this has a equilibrium potential voltage is minus 0 0.5 so you can understand or if you want to have a detailed explanation about equilibrium potential exchange current density and all this stuff you can refer to one of my previous video where i have given butler volver equation definition so there you will understand what exactly each of the equation means so click on ok now go to reaction mechanisms so here we need to have two mechanisms so number of mechanisms two and select this this is the first mechanism keep electrochemical okay oh similarly you go to the second point this two this one right next this is second part make it is two this one okay just verify one second This two mechanisms one. This is ID two. This is the it's ID one. Then this yes. So we are getting the actual. Okay. So it is saying there is some mass imbalance. You just go to here. In the mixture template, zinc plus should have two positive charge. It's okay. OH minus should have one negative charge. I have not placed it. Minus one. Change create. Here it is two. That's the reason why it's not showing yet error. There is no balance. So two is two. Now it has been balanced. Click on OK. Change create. Make the electrical conductivity as two point five. Two 
So take this as a volume weighted mixing law. Now we can go to the boundary conditions. And our wall width. So we can define this with mechanism as electrochemical reaction mechanism as 2. And the potential value is 0, you leave it as such. Similarly, this positive x. This also mechanism to value as potential 0. Similarly, this negative x. Electrochemical mechanism to anode reaction specified value as 0. Then go to cathode wall positive x. Go to potential electrochemical reaction 1, specified value as 0. Cathode wall Y, mechanism 1, we can take it a value as 0, apply, close. So now all the reactions are completed, 0 flux means remaining walls, so there is no flux for those things. So that's the reason why there is no specified flux, there is no electrochemical reaction happening on those walls. Okay, now we will try to check this grid motion UDF. So this is the defined grid motion. So actually you can see defined grid motion UDF in which so there will be a reaction happening. Due to the reaction happening, so there is a flow of electrons. So the flow of electrons makes a flow of current. So that current density we require. So here we, if you can check, this is the electrical conductivity into the magnitude of potential gradient right so this gives the electric current that electric current density j if it is multiplied with molecular weight divided by faraday's constant and density so that gives our if you can see that gives our corrosion rate so corrosion rate is nothing but current density into molecular weight divided by your z the charge faraday constant and the density of the metal the density of the metal what you are taking here is 713000 because this is a uh, in um, mm uh, cube so that's the reason why we are converting this into the particular this value we, are, we want the corrosion rate in mm so that's the reason why we have bothered here in 713000 so we just change the units go to the length and turn that into mm this gives the point in mm for us right and this motion is for corrosion z anode y so anode y will have a no direction in the negative y so i have taken this minus sign right so if it the anode is in the positive y then uh, negative x then you can directly subtract with x right and if you have a positive x that is the other point where we need to uh, modify the direction according to the positive value where the node will be moving in the positive direction so we will have a three things one is negative y other is positive x another one is positive y so this defines the grid motion where the grid motion is dependent on the current density. That current density we are getting using this conductivity into the potential gradient, which gives our current density. Hope uh, you understood uh, this UDF. Now we will try to compile this UDF. Add. So go to corrosion. Sorry. This is the file. Try to select that. Use built in compiler. Build it. Low K. 
it will try to compile and build so you can load this it's a warning we do not bother about the warning go to dynamic mesh so it will have a dynamic mesh concept because it is continuously tries to change with respect to the amount of current that will pass it is a dynamic mesh create create edit so go to deforming region in the deforming region select ff1 surface then click on create now go to user defined which is our motion of the walls so it is anode y select anode wall y and the cell height adjacent is 1 mm so create next is anode wall positive x positive x create next is anode wall negative x negative x create so we are creating these three uh, walls or three regions but because we have a three types of deformations or three types of uh, wall corrosions because in three directions it will try to corrode and the object will tries to deform I'll close it and then uh, go to initialization try to initialize with the completely water liquid initialize then go to graphics go to counters and try to keep the potential with exchange current magnitude select everything compute display right now will not say anything we are not initialized anything uh, so we are not ran simulation go to solution animations click this and try to load for every uh, five time steps click ok then click on run calculation and you select 6000 time steps maybe 6000 okay run calculate so now you can see i have ran through those iterations so there is a mesh deformation here because you can see more red part because this is the part where anode and cathode are meeting so there is a huge amount of reaction or a current density that has been exchanging here so due to that exchange current density you can see there is a huge deformation here so maybe I'll just show the playback video also what we have saved. You can see all the nodes are coming down. So the upper parts are also getting displaced, lower parts are also getting displaced. You can just check here. I'll just repeat it. You can just check these parts. The top surface is also coming down, and this part is also moving front, and this part is also moving. So all around there is a motion. This motion is due to the exchange current density that has been happening. Right. So hope uh, you guys uh, got some knowledge or some, got some view on uh, how to perform the corrosion process inside uh, ANSYS Fluent and I will try to keep this case and that file uh, onto the drive and I will share the link with you. Please do subscribe to my channel and uh, share like and pass it on your group so that it will be some motivation me to uh, do perform these kind of simulations many more and if you have any doubts so you can uh, contact me through uh, the web or through mail id what i'll share in the description thank you